all I'd see is subject lift, lift out of service, lift update, lift broken. Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lumi, you can call me Lulu, you can call me Lumi, you can call me Mimi, you can call me One from that selection. So today I am so 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 excited because I'm going to be speaking about my experience living in halls this year. So because I've finally moved out of this place, I am going to speak really openly, whatever I want to say. Everything goes, I'm going to chat. Details first, I go to King's College London and I study medicine. That basically means I'm situated on guys campus so i decided to go to julian markham house julian markham house is based in elephant and castle and it is literally like 15 minutes to campus even 10 but you can walk there in like 20 25 minutes i decided to go there again this year the only reason why i decided to go back to accommodation this year is because i was sold dreams by my university they told me that we would have on-campus teaching in which they lied and so i spent money that wasn't necessary to be spent now that we're done with this if you guys want to refer back to my old video so i've got a uh, experience living at halls i'll link it up here or i'll put it down below second year terrible okay from the jump i'm going to rate it a four out of ten four three whatever anything below five out of ten I just don't want to say zero because that's extreme. Living in halls this year was number one terrible because of COVID and restrictions, etc. etc. However, one thing that the accommodation failed to realize was people coming in. Some people actually don't have friends. Like some people legitimately don't have friends. There is no opportunity for them to make friends because one, they're not even allowed visitors in the accommodation. Why is that? Because at this point, there were actually no restrictions on visitors, like on people going to like homes or people seeing other households. There was no restrictions. I think there was the rule of six. Yep, up to six households can mix. So that rule was still in place, meaning that people could still mix, see other people. And the accommodation said no. Still don't understand why. Still no reason for them to have done that. Um, they had COVID testing in place, social distancing in place. I'm not saying I want to bring everyone round. I'm not saying I want to have a party. I understand if I'm only allowed like one visitor and they can only come like on the weekends or they have to know their name. I have to sign it, all of that stuff. That makes sense. I will be all for that. But you're telling me no guests allowed at all? Secondly, if you know you're gonna make that no guests mandatory, I want to go outside so that I can actually see people. Tell me why the lift is breaking. No, 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 please answer me. If you can say with your chest that you don't want people in to come and visit me in my house, like in my home where I live, like within my comfort, then provide me with the means, like an easy means, like the amenities that I'm paying for to go outside. Why am I living on the sixth floor and the lift is breaking and you're telling me to deal with it? Why is the lift breaking for eight weeks, please? That's two months. Someone with anemia, six flights of stairs. Guess what I did when I got up those stairs? Oh, trigger warning. Yeah, fainted. Thank you. Thank you, Julia Markham. I spoke about the lift breaking, like it broke on the first day that I moved in in first year. Yeah, the lift did the same thing. No, like the lift actually just breaks. Like it, the lift never worked. I thought that they would use that long summer from March to September. That's more than enough time to fix the lift and get it better, like to actually get it working, but no. I moved in in September. I'm pretty sure that the lift broke once in September, twice again in October, and then broke a couple times in November, and then throughout Christmas, so throughout that November, December, January broke. I actually had to self-isolate. I didn't get any medicine, couldn't get any medicine actually. Couldn't speak to anybody because I was on the sixth floor. And um, when you have COVID, it legitimately feels like death. So I had to do all of that by myself. Could have died in that sixth floor room and no one would have known because your lift was broken for eight weeks and it would break every other week and don't even get me started on the lead up to the most recent breakage the week or like the two weeks leading up to it the lift would break in the morning they'd fix it and then it would break again at night and every time the lift goes out of order they always send us emails all i'd see is subject lift lift out of service lift update lift broken i'm tired as in your cranium finally allowed you to think 
that you need to get new parts why did that only come to your head in may when people's contracts are ending in june i am paying a hefty sum to stay in elephant castle i am not paying a hefty sum for the lift to not work if i'm paying that much everything that i'm paying for must be there in working order and i don't think that that is too much to ask for you're not giving me a refund you're not giving me a refund and why is that i want my money back why are you giving me a voucher as compensation i don't want a voucher i want my money back 60 pound a voucher the lift broke for two months two months and you're giving me a 60 pound voucher to do what I just want my refund i just want my money back i definitely think that that accommodation is the ghetto um nothing against the manager love her to bits um because she's known me for two years now against like the people that work there but the admin or corporation or manager or, like the higher people whoever is like choosing like, how they run the things like how things they run there so if you guys want to go just bear that in mind yeah that was my experience um a couple other things with Julia markham house there's no hot water uh i was standing in the shower no no it's not even i was standing in the shower you will stand in the shower with hot water and you will finish your shower with cold water and that's just the way it goes and every single person i know has experienced that and there's hundreds of people living in that accommodation why is your hot water not working so not only is your lift not working the hot water isn't working either another thing silverfish people don't say this out loud it's like very very harsh i think the silverfish of julia markham i'm so sorry my friend is making noise so if you hear her in the background that's her um the silverfish of julia markham house should be um on the same level as the rats of king's college london silverfish in julia markham house bruh you will see the fattest bug and silverfish are the hardest thing to kill because they just they're like stepping on them does not do anything like you have to and they have the fattest silverfish and i got home and there was just this fat chunky silverfish on my coaster on my desk do you know how terrifying that is and if you don't know what silverfish looks like i'll put it up here silverfish infestation terrible disgusting Blech everyone knows you guys need to know okay before you go into this third disaster that happened was my kitchen was flooded yeah the kitchen was flooded so julia markham has what seven floors i lived on the sixth floor um a pipe burst in the seventh floor leaked all the way down now i think it was raining this day as well so the window is open actually the window in our flat was broken so it opened all the way you know usually you have like that safety catch the window opens like that no our window opened all the way like if i wanted to jump out i could easily jump out easily jump out and it was a massive window you guys know what the windows look like and i'm pretty sure we spoke about it told them about it they inspect that kitchen so part of their kitchen inspections actually they should have found out like that so don't know why they didn't do that it was raining this day seventh floor was leaking and guess what happened my kitchen flooded my kitchen flooded and after that you didn't think that i deserve compensation for that do you not think that that disrupted my learning that day and it wasn't fixed just on that day no it wasn't because it had to take at least two days julia markham house was the ghetto this year less ghetto last year but intensely immensely ghetto this year um i would say that the only um highlights of julia markham house this year was obviously like the fact that i could order things and it'll be held by the reception um that's just granted uh i also started like be active events so i was able to do yoga that was the only good thing about living there this year so yeah i hope you guys were able to understand my comprehensive list of complaints my rants about living in accommodation but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my rant i know you guys like the honest truth and that is what i always give to you so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um yeah i will see you all in my very next video if you have any more kings related videos that you guys want me to do like comment that down below and that's it from me